Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, um, and I thought I'd do one more guava video for people interested in guavas. Um, this is the second guava that I got from Canarius back in November that also survived. The two guavas did survive, although I lost the star fruit and the Montingia and something else which is scared. Oh, the mango died as well, but the two guavas I managed to keep alive. Now this one here is White Supreme. Um, don't know much about it. It's uh, probably, I suspect it's not a particularly sweet guava. It might be one of the ones that's used as sort of a sour guava, but I'm happy. I'll be happy if I'm completely wrong on that, it's a sweet one, if I ever get guavas here. Um, the plant's done quite well over winter, it has put out a little bit of new growth. Um, again, it's in one of these horrible tall pots. <coughs> Excuse me sneezing on camera. It's on another one that's in one of these horrible tall pots, but it should have that very open volcanic compost that Canaris use, so it does at least mean it's quite easy to get the roots off. So we'll just take it out of the pot and see what happens. And you actually end up with a very small root ball. Um, good uh, drainage in the bottom of the pot but they use this very light, I presume it's a neutral soil that they're allowed to export from the canaries without any disease problems with it. Um, like the like the Bangkok Giant, uh, it's not a grafted plant, they obviously multiply these from cuttings. So uh, I'm going to move this into my very open citrus type compost because I think it will suit guava as well. Um, I'm putting it into a considerably larger pot but they're quite, they're quite vigorous growers guava once they get going and they're quite greedy feeders so I'm hoping that I won't have any root issues as we're repotting these obviously at right to uh, sort of late in spring and it shouldn't therefore cause too much of a problem. Uh, I've got enough of this compost mix here. Soon mix some more up if I don't have enough. Just about enough compost for this batch. But basically that compost just consists of, it's mostly pine bark, um, a little bit of peat, some perlite and I've put a little bit of fertiliser in there as well and I've planted it nice and close to the surface so that the feeder roots if guavas have them should be on the surface. I'm just going to put a little bit more on just off and that's the perfect quantity because that's just finished off the uh, that's just finished it off to the top of the pot now give it a shake to settle the roots now I will give this a good watering because um, it, it was it was surprisingly dry and I don't like it to be particularly dry guavas this one seems to be relatively pest free but I'm going to give it a spray I think there might be just a handful of mealy bugs on it, but I should better rinse those off with just plain water. <coughs> and I think I might put this in the summer house rather than back in the kitchen and um, see if, uh, I don't think it'll be too cold in there for it. And if we get sunny days like uh, today's been, it should get quite warm in there. It might boost their growth a little bit. So thanks for watching the video. That was my white supreme uh, guava which I got from Canarius last November has survived the shock of the trip has survived the winter so hopefully we'll get some growth off it this summer um, don't know how many years it'll be from uh, flowering and potentially fruiting over here might prove very difficult without a greenhouse but I will do my best so thank you for watching the video and I do much appreciate your time um, if you want to leave any comments or questions I'll try and answer them 
Um, if you can give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Share the video if you think anybody might be interested. And remember to uh, subscribe to my channel if any of these plants interest you. And click on the bell if you like updates on new videos as they come out. I will see you in the next video. Brett out for now.